group doesn't mean anything without him. No. And that's the oh, leverage of oh, nah. more recent. Oh, my you gotta, I don't, God! I don't know if you as tapped in. Yeah, you're so. not that tapped. That's okay. I had to get tapped myself. The youngest put me on. I, I, look, the whole, bro, they the whole will fade idea. into nothing without Kai Sinai. It's not true. They might be cool right now. It's not true. It's just like all of the fucking ASAP Fan members. Oh, my God, bro. This is why we don't give people podcasts, bro. This is why we can't just have anybody buying equipment. This is why you should go to podcast school before you start a podcast. Yo, bro. Bro, oh my gosh. Let me tell you something, bro. And I'm 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 humble about everything. I'm super humble about everything. I know I know my road and I know how clear it was and I know what happened and what happened. Did I have a dream to be where I'm at today? Yes. Was I gonna get there one way or another? Yes. How much did AMP help me? A fucking lot! I actually seen a uh a, a podcast. I seen a podcast of a nigga that said that Kai should leave AMP. <laughs> hey, I seen a I seen a podcast that said Kai should leave AMP. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, self, I now understand why they said podcast equipment should be like a gazillion dollars. <laughs> podcast, like that nigga individually. Solo by himself made me understand why they said podcast equipment should cost a gazillion Brazilian uh, like dollars. <laughs> no bullshit. Like, and uh, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna like shit on shit on a nigga and shit because he dead ass didn't know no better. So instead of like that group doesn't mean anything without him. No. And that's the leverage oh, of oh, nah. recent, my You gotta I don't, God. I, I don't know if you as tapped in. Yeah, so. you're not that tapped. That's okay. I had to get tapped myself. The youngest put me on. I, I, look, the bro, whole, they the will whole fade idea. into nothing without Kai Sinai. It's not true. They might be cool right now. It's not true. It's just like all of the fucking ASAP Fan members. Oh my god, bro. This is why we don't give people podcasts, bro. This is why we can't just have anybody buying equipment. This is why you should go to podcast school before you start a podcast. Yo, bro! Bro, oh my gosh. Let me tell you something, bro. And I'm, I'm I'm humble about everything. I'm super humble about everything. I know I know my road and I know how clear it was and I know what happened and what happened. Did I have a dream to be where I'm at today? Yes. Was I going to get there one way or another? Yes. How much did AMP help me? A fucking lot! Why this ain't a good idea, right? Let's just, why, like, I want to dive into why them saying that was such a bad take and why it made no sense, right? For one, you look at the 48 laws of power right here. Law one is never outshine the master. You got to remember that AMP put Kai Sinat on and they brought up the ASAP mob thing. So we're going to kind of compare it to ASAP mob, right? So in the streaming world, cosigns are way more valuable than rap, okay? In rap music, just because you join ASAP Mob or you join one of these clicks or record labels, it won't make you poppin' and famous, right? Think about a group like Young Money. Think about the amount of people that were signed to Young Money at, you know, at one point, right? Obviously, Wayne, uh, you know, Wayne, Wayne's label, but Drake, Nicki, and Tiger worked out but look at people like Lil Twist, Gutta Gutta, Kid Kid, etc. None of them really did anything. You know, they never really had a big career in terms of ASAP, right? Yes, we have Rocky, he's a lead, and Ferg was a pretty sizable member. For the rest of them, I know Bari did the clothes and he had his controversy. But the rest of them never really had big solo careers. They would put out the group albums, but let's call it what it was. When, when those group albums came out, People were listening to those group albums because they wanted to hear more Rocky and Ferg voices. They didn't care about 12E or these other members, at least the general public. Maybe you're an ASAP stand and you did, but most people didn't, right? So cosigns and streaming are way bigger than they are in rap because joining AMP, just joining now, whenever you stream, guaranteed six, 7,000 people, right? 
a streamer that's getting 2,000 joins AMP, they might be touching 10. That's how big the impact is in streaming, right? So that that's how much that cosign will do for you. And you know, even just joining certain universes, like joining FaZe Clan, that'll do a lot for you. Look at like something like No Jumper and Hip Hop, you know? You have the main podcast and then all the other hosts have their own little shows and whatnot too. And those shows can sustain them because that's how powerful joining that universe is. Another thing was, I think he said they were like carrying them on their back. Yes, Kai is carrying them. Yeah, Kai is easily the biggest one, but you know, Duke is massive. Phantom is massive. Agent is massive. Uh, uh, Chris, I, I'm, I'm sure has a sizable audience. I don't really know. But you know, those three alone are mega stars in and of themselves, right? Now it would be like it would be like one thing if it was only Kai popping and the rest of them were nobodies, then maybe that would make a conversation. But maybe. Then the other thing is what benefit does Kai have to leaving, right? If he leaves, he only loses stuff. Cause I'm sure the the AMP brand brings in a lot of money for him for you know the sponsorships. Um, you know, all the AMP cipher that went crazy, you know. The AMP brand does a lot for Kai. It only would make sense for Kai to leave if he was going to make another group that was going to bring him more money, right? But that's not going to happen. If Kai goes starts another group, who, who's going to... I mean, I'm sure people will join it, but nobody that's going to compare to a Duke Dennis or a Phantom or anybody like that, right? So it, it's kind of like, think about Drake and Young Money, right? Drake really stopped repping Young Money and he left that once Young Money didn't do anything for him because... Drake probably left Young Money in what, 2015? At that point, Tyga was gone. Like, Young Money wasn't what it was. It made more sense for him to kind of leave that and instead start pushing the OVO thing because that was going to have a better ROI. Owning OVO had a better ROI than being a member of Young Money. And, you know, sometimes, man, it ain't always business. One thing you'll, you'll realize as a man is, like, business aside, it's just great to be in a group of like-minded people that are trying to move up in life. And I think that's what AMP is for Kai Sinat, man. I, that was a terrible take. Those guys, I'm assuming they're older and they just don't know what they're talking about. But hey, it is what it is, man. Everybody can make a YouTube channel. It's your boy DJ T Stomp and I'm out. Peace.